The Bible to me is a learning tool and a teaching tool from, obviously from God and heaven. Well, I think that over the years since the original, since they made an original Bible, so many re-releases and recopies and all that have been made that what's in the Bible may or may not be able to be trusted anymore. I believe his disciples, the Jesus disciples wrote him and talked about his word and how, they, how he taught him. To me, um, the Bible is the history of uh, God. My opinion, the way they write about God in the Bible is not really believable to today's lifestyle. Bible. God controlled what was in the Bible. Yeah, I think the Bible's true in its stories. The Holy Bible. It's the number one selling book of all time. Millions of copies are sold every year throughout the world in nearly every language. But what is this book Christians refer to as God's Word? Is it just a great book? Or is it something more? Why is the Bible so important? The Bible is so important to the Christian faith because it's not merely historical writings or great literature. The Bible is God's Word. But what does that mean? It means that God inspired the men who wrote down the words, not in the way we might be inspired by a beautiful sunset or stunning scenery. God the Holy Spirit guided the writing. The Holy Spirit tells us how. For prophecy never had its origin in the will of man, but men spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. Because they are God's own words, we can also be absolutely certain that there are no errors in what the Bible teaches. From the creation of the universe to the end of the world, from beginning to end, the Bible is true. Is there such a thing as truth? Truth is something that we are often told to find for ourselves, but God sees things differently. He says that His Word is the truth. Jesus Himself said to God the Father, Your Word is truth. In a world of skepticism and doubt, God's Word, the Bible, provides truth and assurance. How difficult is it to understand the truth of God's Word? It's not difficult. Everything that we need to know to be saved, to go to heaven when we leave this life, is clear and precise. Your Word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. And the most important thing the Bible teaches, the central truth of the Bible, is this, that Jesus is the one and only way to salvation. Jesus himself says, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And the only way to know Jesus is through God's Word. The Word of God was designed by him to do his will. And God's will, what he wants for everyone in the world, is for them to be saved through faith in His Son, Jesus Christ. And He tells us that without faith in Christ alone, a person is destined for eternal punishment in hell. So that we can understand how He sees us and why we need a Savior, God gives us His Word in two parts, two main teachings, the Law and the Gospel. The Law tells us how we are to live and what we are to do and not do. Just like the curb on a street is a barrier that keeps a car from leaving the street and pushes it back, God's law sets limits to keep us on the right track. And like a mirror shows us how we look to ourselves, God's law shows us how we look to Him. It shows us our sins, everything that we do that's opposed to what God tells us. And in that mirror we see that we can't live up to God's demands. We see all our imperfections. So God gives us the gospel, the good news. The gospel message is woven throughout the Bible. The gospel tells us that even though we don't live up to God's demand of perfection, there is one who did. And that one man, Jesus Christ, God's only son, lived the perfect life demanded of us. And he willingly took the punishment we deserve for all our sins in our place. And through faith in him, we receive credit for his perfect life forgiveness for our sins, and salvation for our eternal souls in heaven. That's what the Bible is all about. 
the reason God wanted His Word written down, so that we know what He has done for all people. In the dark about the Bible, you don't need to be. It all points us to this. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. This great news means that through Jesus we now have life instead of death, heaven instead of hell. For more information about the Bible, contact your local congregation of the Evangelical Lutheran Synod or Wisconsin Evangelical Lutheran Synod. If you need help locating a congregation near you, please visit the web address on your screen. This program was produced by the Board for Evangelism of the Evangelical Lutheran Synod. Visit our website, learnaboutjesus.com.